the Codfather with Hardouken sauce. Hardouken! This is one of our signature tacos that is based on the Baja fish tacos. Each bite of that golden crispy fish enhanced by the addictive hot sauce, the cooling creamy lime crema, and the toothsome of that julienned apple just triggers in me a good set of emotions, I'm telling you. This recipe, it was um, inspired by a, a famous underground legend from LA, Ricky. It's called uh, Ricky's Fish Tacos. He brought um, the authentic and delicious Baja style fish taco to Hollywood. The key to these tacos is the batter. Yeah, and what I love about my batter is that it's got that complex, rich, and flavoursome thing to it, if you like. And it kind of reminds you of KFC. You know, no word of a lie. It's got that magic, you know, and I've given it that extra burst of flavour that makes you smack your lips and just want more. No pun intended, of course. Now, the purpose of using beer is so that the bubbles in the beer adds body and lightness to the batter. So make sure you use a good quality Mexican beer like San Miguel, no Corona, obviously, um, as it adds color and some flavor to the batter. The tartness of the julienned apples and tanginess of the pickled red cabbage gives this taco that je ne sais quoi. It's pretty indescribable to be honest, no cap. Now, the Hardorkin sauce. Hardorkin! You see this sauce? This sauce is what you call a ting. You can tell me about Encona. What's the Mexican one? Um, Cholula. Nando's Peri Peri. They are not competing, yeah? This is that lick the food off your plate type of hot sauce. And these times you're in your 50s. Those levels. Anyhow, unfortunately, we can't share the recipe to the hard organ sauce as it's a secret recipe. Uh, although we do plan on bottling it up and maybe doing it as a limited edition um, that we may sort of have for sale. Uh, for the taco, you could use any of your favorite hot sauces to drizzle over. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Um, and until then, viva el taco de pescado. <laughs>